Hello and welcome to the Shiki Science Show. So I said to myself that I wasn't going to do another video on the coronavirus because mainly reading all the news pretty much terrified me. Um, but as a scientist, I'm very much interested in the ways that we're currently developing different treatments in terms of reducing the transmission, but also in terms of trying to find ways of dealing with people who've already been infected and trying to you know, reduce the number of deaths that we, we are seeing. And there is some interesting research out there already, and I will discuss one company, Apesis, that may have a potential treatment for the acute respiratory dis distress syndrome that we've been seeing associated with COVID-19. So firstly, just a bit of background about Aphesis. So it's a biotechnology company and the main focus of the company is on regenerative medicine. So regenerative medicine is just a field of biology um, and it covers the process of replacing, engineering or regenerating human cells, tissues or organs in order to restore or establish a normal function of, a, of that tissue. So the product that Aphesis is developing is a stem cell product referred to as multi-stem. So stem cells, an easy way to think of them, are just cells that can continuously divide or they have the capability to also differentiate, which means they could turn into specialised cells, such as a skin cell. So the origin of this product that Aphesis are developing is from healthy adult, adult bone marrow tissue. And so they take these cells and then they can expand them outside of the human. And when I say expand, I just mean that they, the cells can divide. And the important thing is that no genetic manipulations occurred to these cells. They're exactly the same as what they were taken from the adult. And then these cells can be produced, they can replicate, and then they can be frozen down for when they're actually needed. But the really, really cool thing about this technology is that whereas most, like, treatments you often need a transplant that requires a blood or a tissue type match. The thing with multi-stem is that it doesn't need this and so it's more widely available to people. And the second really cool thing about it is that the delivery is I guess somewhat semi-invasive because you can do it intravenously. So if we take a look at Aphesis's Aphesis, I don't know, what's the plural? If we look at their website, we can see that they're doing a variety of different uh, clinical trials for a variety of different disorders. So some of them are neurological, such as strokes, but the one I guess of interest at the moment is the acute respiratory distress syndrome. And so before this novel coronavirus outbreak even occurred, they had already done a clinical trial using this multi-stem therapy for ARDS, it's probably easier for me just to say ARDS from now on. And so if, if you actually go onto their website, this little video here is actually really good. Not gonna lie, probably better than this video. <laughs> but in all seriousness, ARDS is the most frequent cause of death following COVID-19 infection. And so this happens because when the virus infects, it infects the lungs and the lungs then become inflamed and this inflammation can accumulate fluid and this is referred to as edema. But when this happens, the lung tissue becomes structurally abnormal, and so the lungs can't function as they would normally, and oxygen intake into the bloodstream and to your tissues suffers. So the big problem at the moment is that there is no FDA-approved and effective medicine for ARDS, and the current standard care is to just place the patient on a ventilator which forces oxygen into the lungs to keep the patient alive. But unfortunately, this isn't fully effective and obviously requires the availability of ventilators. So given the success that Athesis saw with their clinical trial for the treatment of ARDS, they've now been given an FDA fast track to pursue this further for the treatment of COVID-19. And I won't go into any more detail than that because I actually came across a recent, well actually it came out today on Fox News, there was an interview with the CEO who actually can explain it probably better than I can, so I'll put the link for that in the description. But I thought this was worth talking about since I haven't really seen it prop up too many times in the news at the moment. And given there's also been some crazy changes in their stock price, I just thought it'd be interesting to talk about it. So it'll be oh, well, only time can really tell to see if this treatment will be effective. But nonetheless, the multi-stem therapy that they've got established here is really cool and definitely has potential for many disorders in the future anyway. 
So as always, hopefully you've learned something and thanks for listening.